Hello my fellow crafters and welcome back to Inspiration for Cards. My name is David and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be working in my art journal and I'm gonna continue with the prompts for December. Um, so without any further ado, let's dive in because I've got two days I need to make in my planner. So let's switch cameras around. So this is my uh, planner that I made just for the, uh, the December day by day. We're gonna work in that but I took out the pages that I'm gonna work on. So this is the page for December 1st, here is December 3rd, uh, 2nd, sorry, and this is going to be December 3rd. Now, let's dive in uh, because I've got a lot of things on my mind that I want to play with. So, I've got a piece of just simple watercolor cardstock here that I used a deckled edge trimmer to trim to size uh, to fit on this page. It's roughly 4x4, four four. I think it's a bit taller than wide, but I don't mind that much. So, it fits on there beautiful. And the prompt for December 2 is favorite color. Now, if you know me, you know that is vintage photo. And oops, turn them around, David. Zelvich Patina. So that's going to be on there. And I've got a fun idea. So I'm going to be, let me think what I'm going to do first. I'm going to use Zelvich Patina first. I'm just going to put that on my mat. This is a silicone mat. Um, I'm going to spritz that with water. Loosen up those thingies, how do you call that? The droplets, and I'm just gonna dab that through there, like so. And I'm gonna dry that. Just, I'm gonna dry in between, simply because when you dry, uh, wet on wet blends, dry on dry layers. And I want layers on here, because I'm gonna use two colors. So, clean this up, dry this, it doesn't have to be perfectly dry, but just the majority needs to be dry. So, let's do that. Okay, that's dry. Then I'm going to use my vintage photo. Well, it's dry enough, in my humble opinion. Um, spritz that with water. Loosen up the droplets, because otherwise you get all these droplets on there, and I don't want that. And I'm going to dab this on there. That's that. Just help that along a tiny bit. I want a bit more movement in there. And dry. Now you're always going to get some sort of blend because distress oxides are water reactive. Uh, so it will blend eventually. But I don't mind. That's why I love these two colors together as well. Because the blend it gives is also very pretty. So, um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with Salvage Patina ink because I love the effect of blending, uh, mixing up the oxides and the ink variations. So, do that and dip in again. So, in the beginning, I uh, dragged through, now I'm just dipping, and you can see already that it's blending in a bit and creating a sort of a greenish hue, it's fine with me. I'm not gonna be bothered about that. I love how this is coming together already, so uh, yeah, that's nice. Let that sit for a minute and dry again. I wanna dry these droplets because I like how that looks. And when I dry them, they will stay in place as they are. And you see they create a bit of a darker edge there. That's what I like. You see? You see the layers you get by layering these colors? So, next I'm coming in with Vintage Photo Ink. Wet that again. Loosen up the thingies and dip in again. Now the ink is transparent, so you will see through that a bit and that will give a very nice effect. So I've put down a bit more salvage patina, but in the oxide formula, uh, spritz some water and I'm just gonna dab this in there because the oxides are more opaque, so that will create more of that layer on top. See the droplets visible 
there. I'll dab off the excess. There we go. So that is my background, but I'm not done yet because I'm going to spritz this with water. And I'm just, uh, when you, that's the beauty of this distress spray. If you completely pull it, you get a mist. If you do it halfway, like this, you get droplets. And I want droplets on there. I'm going to let that sit on there a bit to create, uh, to activate. And then I'm going to dry it. And then I'm going to dab off the excess. And here is my background done with my two favorite colors, Salvage Patina and Vintage Photo. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go around the edge with Salvage Patina in the Oxide formula to really give that a grungy look. And that is my background done. So that's going to be on here. And next what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a piece of uh, watercolor cardstock and I've got this set. It's the block alphabet numbers and I've got the word blue sitting on my acrylic block. And I'm going to stamp the word blue out in brown and that creates a huge conflict in conflict in my head because I want to stamp I want to get blue because it's written blue but no stamp it out with brown. So I'm going to do that stamp that out with brown do that again <laughs> because the first one doesn't work always right because I was too quick push that down there we go then what I'm gonna do and I have to move quickly is I'm going to get my vintage photo Um, distress glaze, put that over there, yeah that's on there and I'm going to melt that powder. Next what I'm doing is I'm taking a tiny bit of vintage photo, taking my water, spritzing that, a tiny little brush, making sure that's clean, picking up that vintage photo and I'm going to color in these letters. That's that. I'm going to trim that out and dry that. While I'm drying that, I'm putting some Distress Ink, the normal formula, on my mat. Wet that, get rid of the droplets. And I'm going to dip this one in, just to get that color on there. There we go. And dry again. And by mixing the two inks, you see the pigment here is stronger, so uh, yeah, you still see the definition. Um, so now I'm going to tear this around and etch my, tear, my torn edge. And then here's my blue and I've already went ahead and did my brown. <laughs> I love this. It's fun. Okay, so that's another element ready. My background is done. So next what I'm doing is I'm stamping out this frame from Polaroid Embellishments 2. That's this one uh, and I'm stamping that out with black and I'm going to cut that out and dip that into my vintage photo and to salvage patina. And then you get this. Um, so it has the same colors on, but I've only used the ink, so it's transparent, so it's not that intense. So that's gonna be on there. And I've got my December 2 that I've just dipped through my uh, vintage photo that I had on there as well. And actually, 
now I can already build up my page. So this is quite a simple and quick page. So let me start by gluing this on there. There we go. And what I'm doing is I'm taking my micron size 8 and I'm just going to use that to make some faux stitch lines around my page like that. Cool. Now this I want to have on there like that, but uh, I want this one to be there. This one to go slightly under and over, like so. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my tiny attacher and I'm going to attach this one right there, up, like that. And this one, like that, it's just because I like it. And then I'm going to get those together and put this one here. So this one is now attached to the frame, makes it easier to attach. And then I'm going to do that right here. And I think I'm going to use tape for that. <coughs> so I'm going to use, this is the three mil tape. I'm going to put that on the back of my frame. Just like so. And take off that backing. And I'm going to position that on there. And I want it to stick out a tiny bit there and a bit there. There we go. So that is coming together nicely. Now, December 2. That's going to be right here at the top. So let's get my glue. we go. So I've printed out my favorite color words using my, you know, one of these vintage Dymo label makers. And I'm going to stick that onto my page. Favorite. Color. Let go of me. And there we have it. That's December 2 prompt favorite color done. Love playing with inks. I just love it. Um, so that's December 2. Let's move on with December 3. So for December 3, I've got um, the prompt is gifts, and I've got a really nice gift in the post this morning actually so I thought it was really appropriate to put in there um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this picture which was a gift to me of course my December 3 this is the page it's quite a small page but uh, it'll fit I'll make it work and then I've got this which I also got in the post this morning um, rub-ons and I like these this vintage style so I'm going to use those on this page I've already cut out some bits that I want to use which are on my mat here. So uh, I've never used them before, so let's try it. So I'm going to trim this to size first and I'm going to do that using my deckled edge trimmer and I want a white edge around it. So I'm going to line that up here and just trim that to size. Line it up, trim, line it up and trim and line that up. There we go. So that will fit on there nicely. Uh, it says Happy Holidays on here. I'm just going to take my vintage photo and etch that a bit to make this a <laughs> vintage photo. 
funny, right? So that's going to be on there. And then I'm just going to make sort of a collage thing over there. These are two. Split them up. There we go. And I think I need one more to go there. Yeah, I think that's coming together nicely. So I'm just going to build up slowly. Now, I've never used these before, but I think this is how you do it, right? You peel off that white backing because that fell off there. So I, I assume that's how you do it. And then I'm going to stick that on here. Actually, like so. Rub that down. Mm, I'm not sure about this one. Let me trim this down first because this needs to be on there. And yes, I know I'm using my long neck scissors to fussy cut, but hey, it doesn't have to be perfect, this, by all means. And I will just edge this a bit with Vintage Photo. There. So that needs to go on here as well. Might do it like that. We'll see. First things first. I've got this little tool, which is from Sizzix. Um, I think you need that to rub on. So let me try that first, because as I said, I've never done this before. But it has to be a first time for everything, right? And then, oh wow, yeah, there, oh wow, I like that. That's cool, okay. And this one already done? I was always scared to use these. This is nice. Oh, they're nice and matte. I like that. Hmm. Funny. Okay, let me glue on this first. So that, that is flat on there. go and then I can just build this up so I'm gonna put this one here and where did that one go here it is I want this one to overlap that a bit so that's gonna be I'm gonna be curious if that's gonna work but let's figure it out together Let's figure that out now, because I'm very curious. Actually, now I know how this works, because I can see it let go of the backing paper just by rubbing it on. Ah, that is smart. Hmm. Oh, I love that. Okay. This one I want on there, so let's do that. So I will continue to build this up and then I'll be back um, So I'll continue to build this up and then I'll be back. So I just decided I want my December 3rd here at the bottom. So I will just glue that down.
And then I will take my parcel post. I'll put that right here. There. And then I figured out if I use the back of my, um, how do you call that, tweezers, you just, it works as well. Maybe uh, some people are screaming now, no, but it, it works. So why not, right? Then stamp, I want that right here. So I'm going to type out the word gift with my um, Dymo thingy. Fun little thing to use. That's going to be over there. Gifts. That's the prompt. The date is on there. I just need one more little thingy. Like that. Okay. I'm just going to rub that. Okay, now I'm going to edge the page um, using Vintage Photo. So I'm just going to do it like that. Because I like that because Vintage Photo is a, plays a big role over here. So. And it's on the photo, etc. So it's coming back. Now I want some pops of red on there. So what I'm going to try is I'm gonna, I've got some foil here. And I'm just going to uh, put some dots of my glue pen on here, here and there to really just give it some little pops of red just around the page to bring back that red. So I went around with all the little thingies that with the glue pen. I'm gonna dry that now and then I'm gonna put some foil on there. Now this is called a quickie glue. Um, and it is by Sakura. And the, oops, the foil I'm using is by Crafts & Go. Because I know people will ask. So I'm just going to trim a tiny bit of foil off because I don't need much. And I'm just going to, so I'm just going to put that foil on there and rub. And it'll give it a vintagey, grungy look on that glue. We'll just press that down. So you see, it just adds a bit of that red on the page, and it has. Um, yeah, because I scribbled it and not really uh, put a thick layer on, it's got a bit of a vintagey feel to it. Uh, grungy, I should say. So here we have it, the final result. I love that pop of red around, bringing the red from this back in here. Um, so yeah, this is day three, prompt three done. So we've got December one, let the fun begin. December 2, your favorite color, and December 3, gifts. Nice gift. Okay, that was it for today, so thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider to subscribe to my channel. By the way, everything is, uh, all the products that I use from Elizabeth Craft Designs, you can get your hands on with 10% discounts. Links are in the description box. Um, use my code inspiration for cards at checkout and you get that discount, so that's fun. Thank you for watching this one and I would love to see you for the next one. Thank you. Bye.